We learnt a lot about technology whilst creating our media product, including iMovie. Once we had imported all of our media, we decided to focus on sound. We found that by right-clicking on a clip and choosing the option that says Detach Audio, we could edit the sound on its own. On the option panel above the video clip, you can see that you can adjust the volume. And just by dragging a small icon along the audio, you can change a fade in, fade out effect. By right clicking, you can also choose the option that says split clip. Although we only use cuts in our editing, there were lots of options for different transitions that we could use between shots. We also discovered the option for text and cropping, which helped us to edit out a lot of unwanted footage. Clicking the option for Ken Burns allowed us to zoom in when we wanted without having to do it on the camera. Additionally on the control panel was more post-production editing options for colour, changing the speed, the stability of a shaky shot and lighting which we used to make more high key like other comedies. Overall we learned that by using a computer program like iMovie we could edit our film quicker and use more effects to make it look more professional. By using the Canon DLSR camera, we learned that to focus and change the lighting, you have to repeatedly touch the screen. To zoom in and zoom out, you have to rotate the lens, which can be quite difficult to get quite stable. Following the first storyboard, we did decide to learn a bit about using an extra zoom attachment onto the camera so that we could zoom into the character's eyes without getting a reflection of ourselves. We also decided to use the camera on the iPhone 7 as many of our extreme close-ups and fast-paced shots were really unfocused whereas they weren't on this camera. So that's what we learnt about different technologies for the creation of this product.